Roxo Media House. Hey Frost fans, welcome inside the Flying Tea Club studio here at Roxo Media House. I'm Emmanuel Miller. And I'm Isam Mustafa with the TCU basketball team. Thank you for always supporting our program and we look forward to taking you on another postseason run this year. The March Madness will be here before you know it. We are also excited to be hosting this edition of Frogs today. In today's show, the TCU football team looks to get back on track. When they host BYU, our question team is off to a hot start and the number one ranking, and our beach volleyball team is hosting a fall tournament. Plus, our baseball team is back on the diamond, getting ready for fall ball. Our soccer team is back at home for two games this week. Today's show starts after a quick word from one of our sponsors. Stay tuned. In Botham, we put people first. So we simply start by listening to you. Whether you're searching for customized insurance, HR, or financial solutions to protect your home, car, health, business, or employees, our specialists are here to serve you, the people you care about, and your success. Higginbotham, insurance, HR, and financial services. Inspired by you. Welcome back inside the Flying T Club studio. I'm your host, Emmanuel Miller. The TCU football team is back at home tomorrow afternoon for a 2.30 kickoff against BYU. The Frogs will be without starting quarterback Chandler Morris. Coach Dyke gave us an update on Chandler's sprained knee in his state of the Frog Coaches Show. Yeah, so Chandler uh, basically kind of did the same thing he did to, to his knee last year. Sprained his knee. Um, you know, it's probably going to be a week-to-week -week thing, probably going to be at least a month. Uh, so, you know, Josh fever has got an opportunity now to step in and take over and Excited about what he can do and what he's going to bring to our football team. I certainly hate it for Chandler. Um, you know, he's worked incredibly hard, uh, was, was really uh, improving, you know, week to week, and, and uh, very disappointed for him. But, again, looking forward to, to seeing what Josh can do. And, and, you know, it's going to be a different team with Josh as our quarterback, and we'll see how we go from here. Josh Hoover will get the start this week, and he expects to keep the offense rolling for the foreseeable future. Chandler's been awesome. You know, I hate it for him. Obviously, never the way you want to enter um, a starting role. Um, so I hate it for him. Hate it. He got hurt, but uh, he's been really supportive, and uh, I expect him to be that way. That's just the kind of guy he is. He's a good teammate, and so he's going to continue to do that. Just do what you do every day and um, let the guys around you make plays. I mean, that's the big deal. I don't have to go out there and do anything crazy. You just have to execute the offense and uh, just make the plays that I need to make to help us win. So uh, he's been real complimentary and real, um, real encouraging, just trying to uh, make sure we're all good to go and um, just looking forward to it. Dispersing the ball and getting it to the playmakers and then getting it down the field. I feel like we have a good opportunity to do that and uh, just hit some big plays down the field to the, in the weapons that we have. We have some big downfield weapons. I think we need to utilize that, and I think we're going to be able to. So I'm excited about that and uh, just trying to be the best leader I can be and show up every day and just motivate the guys around me to uh, reach their full potential. The offense knows they can turn things around with Hoover leading the charge. I don't see many much changes. I actually see, like I said, we're talking about the deep ball and throwing the ball a little bit more um, down the field. I feel like he's going to bring more down the field shots, more opportunity for down the field shots. It's very frustrating knowing that we should be putting up 50 plus points a game. But um, it's a new start. Um, we're in the middle of the season. New quarterbacks always good for a fresh start. So I think it's time we got things rolling the way it should be. The Cougars come in with a four and one record, including big wins over Arkansas and Cincinnati. It's not going to be anything we haven't seen before. You know, we're just going to go in there with the same mindset. We're going to practice in the same way we always practice for every team. So, you know, nothing we haven't seen before. We decided that we create our own energy, home and away games. And we want the energy to come from the D-line. So we've been putting a focus on that. I think we're playing good defense, but we can always do better. You know, no matter how good we play, we can always do better. We can always go 1% harder every play. So, yeah, we're playing good defense, but it can always be better. BYU is also coming off a bye week, so they've had extra time to prepare for the Frogs. Here's what Coach Tony Dyke expects. Well, they're a good football team, as you said. Uh, four and one, uh, you know, went on went on the road and beat Arkansas, um, you know, beat Cincinnati most recently, and then just had a bye. And so they're a team playing with a lot of confidence right now. Their quarterback has gotten better and better every week. Uh, Keaton Slovis is a transfer from USC. Uh, he's been a couple of different places. Is is the guy and a really good quarterback. Uh, they're throwing the ball well. Their offense is playing with a lot of confidence. And then defensively, it's a typical BYU team. You know, big up front, uh, physical. Um, you know, a, a just an overall good, solid football team. They've been playing well on special teams. So a team that's playing, going to come in here rested. A team that's going to come in here with a lot of confidence and 
you know, we're going to have to rally the troops a little bit and get our guys ready and go play hard this week. But, you know, I, I love this football team. I love these guys. I, I think they'll respond, and, and uh, I think we'll play our best game of the season. A 3-3 three and three record isn't what anyone expected at this point of the season for our football team. Here's what students on campus are saying. I have faith in the Frogs. I think that we can always come back. I mean, we had an amazing season last season, so I know it hasn't been the best first start, but I know that we can come back. Any given week, anything could happen in this Big 12 this year. Uh, so I'm optimistic heading into this week. We'll only lose three games on the season. And from here on out, we can still make the Big 12 championship in theory. So let's just see it happen. All it takes is one game. College football is a, a crazy sport full of a lot of upsets. As Frog fans, I think we're all kind of excited for this new opportunity for Hoover. With Josh Hoover coming in, there's a lot of opportunity. Uh, it could be a a turn of the page for the season. We had a big season last year. You know, I've seen I've seen TCU win some win some games they weren't supposed to win, so you know, I have faith. Please don't forget to join us here on frogstoday.com for our pregame show 1 hour before kickoff. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Simply the best barbecue in Fort Worth. Dine-in, catering, or drive-through. 2900 Montgomery just off I-30. Remember, the best barbecue in Fort Worth is at Railhead Smokehouse. Welcome back inside the Flying T Club Studio. I'm Isa Mustafa. The number one ranked TCU equestrian team is off of running their 3-0 start, has also earned several riders Big 12 honors. Frox Today student reporter Ella Gonzalez has a closer look at the team's success. Hey Frog fans, our equestrian team just took down SMU claiming the number one spot in the nation and the coaching staff says it's just the beginning. Last season was fantastic. It was fun. We had great team chemistry. We had a lot of seniors and leaders that just guided our, our younger athletes along and it, it turned out really well for us. Um, there wasn't a ton of competition in the Big 12 th this last month, so we just competed the one time against SMU, but it was a great, great day and a, a big win. Maddie Dukes with her record high on uh, one of her favorite horses, Cupid. Georgia Meadows with a great run in the raining. For Frankie in the fences, that was a really special meet because it was her, her first time to compete as a collegiate rider. Her taking home that Big 12 award was very exciting, and Laurel is always so deserving of every honor she earns um, with her award coming in the flat. Our training is just focused on 1% better every day, um, progress over perfection. We have a lot of talent, um, some young riders um, and some developing riders that are stepping in. You know, long range, of course, we, we'd love to win it all, starting with um, a Big 12 title and, and following up with a strong showing at nationals. Our goal is always to win, but we also like to stay close range and, and be preparing for the next meet because everyone that competes in this sport is talented and well coached. And so every whatever meet is next, that's the most important of the season. Thanks, Ella. Our equestrian team will be back in the saddle on October 20th when they travel to Fresno, California. Now to our beach volleyball team. They are hosting the TCU Fall Challenge right now. It's great, um, especially today with the weather is just uh, perfect. Finally, the fall has arrived and uh, the guys were really eager to compete because we've been training since pretty much the first day of school in August and it's, it's super fun to get back and play here at home. The team dynamic is really great. We all get along with each other and like I feel like some schools maybe think oh like we lost a lot of people like we're not going to be as good this year but I feel like we're more physical than ever. Uh, so I've been to all three national championships and it's definitely a very different team dynamic. This year we lost 10 and gained a lot of transfers and new girls so it's a very different um, a lot of the girls that were here for a very long time are no longer here, so the team dynamic is kind of shifting and it's a very different personality than it's been, so it's been a lot of fun. They're definitely pushing us really hard this year. Obviously, we lost a really great ones pair, so, you know, trying to push and fill some of those holes that were clearly really big. They're doing big things right now, so good for them. But they glue pretty good. They're, they're really, like, getting along, you know, and we're still working on things, of course, like a part of the culture of the, of the, of the team. It, it takes time. But so far, so good. We're really happy with the, with the newcomers. They're in baseball now, and the Frogs are back at Lupton with a full camp officially now underway. Head coach Kirk Silas is entering his third season as a head coach, and he knows last year's success in Omaha has fans wanting more this year. I think expectations are 
for the most part, I think it's mostly external. You know, the, the outside in terms of what they expect you to do every single year. For us, it's how good can this team be? You know, and that's, that's the thing I think with any team. As soon as you start comparing yourself to other years and other things, I think it becomes really difficult because you can't control any of it. So our deal is, okay, how good can we become as a group? You know, how good can we become as individuals and then as a collective group is the main thing that we're going about every day. The great thing about being at a place like TCU is you know your expectations every single year are going to be super high. You know, and so I don't think it changes for the coaching staff and the players. I think the expectation always is, is to be playing late in June. Full baseball practice is open now to fans. They usually start around 2.30. You can follow Coach Carlos on social media for updates. We'll be right back. You know, we wouldn't be able to do the things we were able to do this year without the Flying Tea Club. So we got to continue to, to get people involved. It's, it's more important right now than it's ever been. Flying Tea is special. It's, it's, it's the best thing that I've encountered in college. It allows us to be able to offset a lot of the costs that our scholarships aren't able to cover. If people like winning, invest in, in, in the Flying Tea Club and NIL. It's almost a necessity now in uh, the college football world. I mean, you got to kind of invest uh, in the programs and what you put in is what you get out. John's Grill is the newest venture from John Pinnell and the Pinnell's Restaurant Group. A reach to table concept featuring food, beer, and spirits from around the great state of Texas. Our menu is designed by Chef Sean Alvarez and features two chef-inspired burgers, the fatty and the flatty, plus a brisket menu perfect for your casual night out. Fast casual service in a fun, relaxed, family-friendly environment. Featuring 11 big screen TVs for you to catch the big game on. Our mixology team has created a craft cocktail and beer menu. Featuring local spirits and brews from across Texas. John's Grill, home of the Players Club show each week. 2905 West Berry Street in Fort Worth. Or online at johnsgrill.com. The TCU soccer team came up with another draw when they played Houston last night. It's the team's third tie of the season. Kind of a tale of two halves, right? I think that... Um... We were on the front foot for most of the first half and did the things that we practiced uh, to do in order to be successful and score two really good goals. And I think that um, we didn't respond in kind in the second half and, and do the things that we wanted to do. Uh, we didn't. We weren't buzzing like we were in the, start, in the first half like we did in the second half. And so I think you get the result that you get when you don't do the same things that you're capable of doing. I think they probably thought the game was in hand and it's a tough lesson to learn. We'll respond. I'm, I'm certain that we'll respond on Sunday in kind and put two halves together. Huge game on Sunday, right? We got to take care of business and try to get a result against Baylor here on the home field. Our soccer team will look to get back on the winning track in their final home match of season when they host Baylor on Sunday. Before we go, remember to swing by John's Grill every Thursday night to watch the Players Club. The show is taped live every Thursday at 6 p.m. This week's members of the TCU football team were guests on the show. Major Everhart and J.P. Richardson had a good time with Maggie and Courtney. I can speak for the inside receiver room. We're all really close. You know, me, Major, JoJo, Jack Bash, Jordan Bailey, all of us, you know, support each other. We all want each other to, you know, go out there and dominate, and we're all rooting for each other, and um, I think that's special. You probably don't see that a lot of places. It's easy to get jealous or envious of, you know, someone in your position, but that's just not the case at all for, for our group. Uh, we all want to see each other go out there and kill it and make plays and uh, just ultimately get where we want to be. And um, I think that um, you know, as the season goes, as we keep going into battle with each other, we'll just continue getting closer and closer. And you know, the road games and stuff are, are really you know kind of fun. You you know, you're around your guys the whole time, and I just think we'll just continue growing as a team, getting closer and closer. And you know, everything that we want is still right in front of us. So um, you know, just gotta focus in week by week and. Uh, go win games. Yeah, that's one thing I can say I like about the uh, away away games when they're late at night. You kind of get to chill at the hotel a little bit longer and just vibe with your teammates or whatever. It's a little fun time. As you can see, TCU is a great community. We have a lot of fun here in Fort Worth. And hosting this week's show has been a lot of fun too. For everyone behind the scenes here at Rockson Media House, I'm Isa Mustafa. And I'm Emmanuel Miller. Thanks for watching and thank you for always supporting TCU Athletics. Please like and subscribe to Frogs Today for the best coverage of TCU Athletics. Until next week, go Frogs! Go Frogs! <laughs> Roxo Media House.